What is happening, YouTube? This is LarkNuck1 slash Addict, and today we are going to be playing some Civilization 5. Yes, that is right. Civ 5, strategy turn based game. Very, very long games. That's okay. I'm here. I'm talking. You're gonna have some fun. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe. I don't know. Okay, let's just hop into it. Um, first of all, um, I'm using a mod that you can download freely. Um, so, no, these are, th okay, when you say browse mods, it's weird. Um, this is the mod, not yet not another Earth Mac, you can download this. Um, I'm playing with, what's the version here? I don't recall, um, I don't think it is the latest version, but that's okay. It works, so, yarsh. We gonna go single player. We gonna let this loud. Now we go. What are we gonna do? Let's like set up a game. <laughs> no. How about we custom game? Seems legit. Here we go. Yeah. 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 Not yet another Earth mod. It's awesome stuff, man. Look at this. You can have like 20 different players. Who we gonna play as? Let's see. We gonna play as the Americans. Hmm. Arabians. Who we gonna play as? So many people. Persians? Nah. Nah. Shh. We gonna play as. Who know, man? Who know who we gonna play Oh, yeah, I know who we're gonna play as. We gonna play as the Greeks. Cause I, you may not know this, but I'm half Greek, so. Yeah. We gonna play as the Greeks. And, uh. Just cause it makes perfect sense, we gonna make sure the Persians be in this so we can wreck them later. And, um. Let's see here. Let's see these options. Playing with Giant Earth. City State's 28. Um. Yeah, let's keep that up to 20. Map type giant earth, difficulty level. No, no, no. Ah, Prince Hard. Ah. I played Heart King. I played King before is the Greeks on this same map. Not fun. Well, it is kind of fun. But the problem is, is that you have like 80 bajillion civilizations around you. So, difficult. Very difficult. We're going to be playing as Prince because there's so many freaking many civilizations, it won't even matter. Um. Standard makes sense. Ancient era, that means what period you start at. City states. Yeah, we gonna go with all the city states. Only city states with true stone location. Yeah, 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 yeah. I only want real city states. Um. Hmm. Minimum, yeah, okay, it makes sense. Abundant. Yeah, we want abundant resources. You, you'll, I'll, I'll tell you what that is later. Um, because my guess is that most of you have no clue what's going on here. I don't want a time ending. We're not going to have max turns either. Um, let's see here. What do we want? Yeah, I want that to be a C. Um, mm -hmm. I'd major deposits of strategic resources. What is that? Interesting. Use true, true geographic resource placement. Add specific resources. Yeah, we want that. Um, boo, 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 boo. Yeah, you know what? We are going to remove the U.S. Because if you're playing with, like, Britain and you're playing with, like, Persia and Ancient Greek and Genghis Khan, it really doesn't make any sense to have, like, George Washington be like, Hey, guys, what's up? We're from the 18th century. Don't make no sense. None. No sense. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we're good here. Let's start. Start this bad boy up. Yes! Now you. May the blessings of the listen. gods be upon you, better listen. great King Alexander. You are the ruler of the mighty Greek nation. Your people lived for so many years in isolated city states, legendary cities such as Athens, Sparta, Thebes where they gave the world many great things, such as democracy, philosophy, tragedy, art, and architecture, the very foundation of Western civilization. I'm sorry, he ugly. He ugly. Although few in number <laughs> and often hostile to each other, in the 5th century BC, they were able to defeat their much larger neighbor, Persia, on land yeah. and sea. Yeah! Kill the Alexander, Persians! Your people stand ready to march to war, to spread the great Greek culture to millions, and to bring you everlasting glory. Are you ready to accept your destiny, King Alexander? Will you lead your people to triumph and greatness? Can you build a civilization that will stand the test of time? Hell yeah! Let's do this! Mm-mm! 
Oh, snap. We started right next to, uh, some marble. It's gonna be fun. That gonna be fun. Let's move our soldiers up into northern Greece. Um, oh, yeah. Furs and deer. Oh, oh, yes. Pearls. Oh. Oh, more pearls. Oh. Oh, this is gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Okay, okay. Let's, let's go ahead and settle down. This is gonna be great. Oh, I'm so, so happy. Okay, so, um, most of you guys have no idea what's happening right now. Let me just give a little introduction to the screen. Um, so, every time you select a unit, they have usually have options right there, unless they're out of moves. Here we go, found city. We can move, we can do nothing, we can sleep, or... Uh, sleeping just does nothing, this does nothing. This is like nothing every turn. And then killing someone gets you money or something. Pointless. We're gonna found a city. And, um, I believe it's going to be Athens, even though we're technically in southern Greece. So, we're gonna rename it. We're gonna rename our city. Sparta! Yeah! Sparta! For the love of the motherland, man! Okay. So, um, each city, they have a certain number of citizens. Citizens grow and food goes up. Um, citizens work on these tiles that surround the area. Funsies. Um, each city can do a production. Takes a certain amount of turns and then they'll produce an object. Buildings, like, do bonuses. Maintenance costs money. Um, which up here is my net money per turn. I know I'm flooding information through your brains, but it'll make sense eventually. Happiness is seven. Um, when people are unhappy, they do stupid stuff, like, uh, you know, not do as well, not grow as well. Poop like that. We keep them happy by giving them valuable resources, um, luxury resources like marble, oyster pearls, and, uh, I believe furs as well. It gives you five happiness per object. And, um... But only when you, once you start to gather it. Right now, I'm not getting any bonuses from this or this. Happiness goes down with population. Population is here, one citizen. So if you look here, it says one generated by population. That's unhappiness, which counters happiness. Um, we go and start out with worker, definitely. Workers can do stuff. The other guys just kind of for exploration. And then research. We're going to open that technology tree. You're going to flood your brain with information again. This is the tech tree in Civ 5. This is the stuff you research. Um, it looks like it's going to take a bajillion turns to earn all these things. It's not actually going to take a bajillion turns. Because right now our tech level, which is up here, it says 4. Um, it's incredibly low. Later in the game we'll have a tech level of like 200, 300. And then we'll get all these things real quick. Let's see what my advisors say. What do my advisors say? Well, how did I just fin- oh yeah, agriculture, makes sense. Um, they say I should do animal husbandry. I disagree. Sorry, man. I think we should do... I want to get mining out. What do I need to do that? What do I need to do there? Oh, I need a quarry. Let me build that quarry. Let's see. Yeah, no, masonry. My bad. Not a quarry. What am I saying? Masonry. Yeah, right here. Okay. Um, then we got to trap those guys up there. <laughs> Um, we're gonna go here first. Okay, we gonna go next turn now. It's gonna take, you know, turns are gonna like long, long things now because because we playing with twenty civilizations. Usually, you play games like five civs. We're playing with twenty. It should be cool like that. Oh snap! Oh, city states. We'll get into what that is in a minute. Right now, there's nothing to do, so we're just gonna go next turn. Notice this number goes down. It uh, turns till the next tech upgrade. So we got that mining coming along. Let's go up here. Oh, Ragusa. Oh my god, they got a lot of silk. Oh man. Some wine too. Oh wait, no. No, 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 no. Ragusa's this one. Belgrade was the other one. Belgrade, you got lots of silk. Mm-mm, girl. We, make, we gonna make friends with you. We gonna make friends with you! We gonna get that wine and that silk. Mm -mm. Seriously though, that's a lot of silk. It's like more silk than there is in China. Jesus. We got 50 trade gold. Just nothing, man. Okay, let's go exploring. Whoa, that's that's a lot of silk. Okay, now you know, first 20 turns are so boring. We got nothing going on. Nothing going on.
Remove. Oh, I see the Germans. What's up, Bismi? Bismi? He's gonna be Bismi for the rest of the game. He's gonna be Bismi. Unless I hate him, then he's gonna be just stupid old Bismarck. Um, Germany greets you. Peace between great nations. Cool. Uh, goodbye. Mad oysters, man. It's mad. Like, what's the probability of that happening? Not very high. And for a fact, it's not very high. 52 years old. Okay. Move your face this way, boy. Who did we just find? Who did we just find? Budapest. Isn't that in Austria? Yeah, it's in Austria. We got mad silk, mad wine. Mm mm. Not gonna make friends with you, though. Belgrade's already got that wine. Already got that wine. <laughs> Germany's announcing the protection of Budapest. Why are they doing that? Why are they doing that? I don't want friends with Belgrade. Oh, we don't have money. Don't have money. Oh, okay, actually, you know what? I'll explain city states now. Um, city states are like things that don't, that are not a civilization. They're just one city. They will eventually expand. They do have their own technology stuffs. They don't openly declare war or make friends with anyone unless you pay through the roof or do quests like uh, a barbarian appears outside their city. Go ahead and go kill a barbarian. You'll get friendship. I'm playing as the Greek civilization, so we got one thing good for us. Our relations with city-states do not sour very quickly. They sour very slowly. Um, so once we get friends with these guys, because they're a militaristic type nation, they're going to give us troops, which is awesome. Um, they're friendly, though, so yeah. It's cool. They like um, building a wand or constructing a road to them. Um, do, 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 nobody's the ally. I plan on being Belgrade's ally, because Belgrade is boss. Who we just find? We found Vienna? Dang, son. Public declaration from Germany. Now they're projecting- Okay, Germany, you gotta- you gotta calm down on the declarations of friendship. Yeah, calm down. Whew! Man. Waiting these turns is just gonna be painful. It's gonna be painful! Got a worker yet? Eleven turns! Let's see here. What can we- we are on the food focus. One turn until we get a second citizen. Cool. We'll, we'll wait until we get a second citizen. And then we'll put a guy on the quarry. It's not the quarry, it's the marble. But we don't have anything on there. Next turn. Sparta has grown. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot we're all caps. Can we, like, chill on the old caps? All caps rage. Sparta. Sparta. Much better. Oh, you're still all caps raging? Oh, okay. So I can't do anything to stop your all caps rage? Actually, maybe I can. That, that, no, 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 no. Can't. My bad. Um. No. 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 I'm gonna put you on production. So now we got six production. We're at stagnation right now. That's fine for now. And technically, that should get our worker out a lot faster. Let's check. Seven turns. Much better. Production is stuff inside cities that speeds up how many turns it takes to make something. So, yeah. Lots of values in poop. Let's go over here. Let's see who else is playing. We know Germany's in the game. We know Persia's in the game because I put them in the game. We're going to kill them. We're going to kill the Persians. That's my goal for this game. Kill the Persians. Um, yeah. Next turn, man. Nothing to do in the early turns. Nothing to do. So fast. And the years go by so quickly. It's like 40 years a turn. Whoa, that's a lot of silk. It's okay, I don't need silk. They got silk. They got silk through their ears. We're gonna be a militaristic nation. I already decided. I already decided. The meat shall inherit the earth. But not its mineral rights. Mmm. That's a little, little, you know, it's a little angry. You gotta calm down, man. But not its mineral rights. Not those mineral rights. Okay. Um, let's get masonry. Yeah. Yep. They want masonry. I don't care. These are cheaper. I don't care. I want masonry. We're actually gonna be science nation. Already decided. Already decided. Science and military stuff. Yo, Germany, back off, man. Back off. Back off. 
Get out of Greece. Oh, gold! Yes! Oh, Romans! I don't like the Romans. They always try to expand into Greece. It's obnoxious. If you're Roman amigos, it's gratis. If, if you're Roman too, that's good. Shut up, noob. I don't speak Italian. Or Latin. I don't even know what you're speaking. <sighs> Jesus. They're like right here. They're like right there. They're like two feet across the ocean. They're literally right here. Stupid Romans. <laughs> Go this way. That's a lot of deer. Oh, man. it's a lot of deer. <whistles> what you doing, Germany? What you doing? Go oh, this way. No, oh, Geneva's got gold, man. I want to make friends with them. Maybe. Oh, die? Brussels. We got wine and die. Mm. What do they all got wine? Like, every single city state has wine. Agusa, you only got... You got nothing, though. You're not even worth being friends. I'll just kill you eventually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're getting a worker next turn. Bunzies. Oh snap, we got a worker. We got a worker in this house. Okay, we can't construct a masonry yet. This is going to give us... Oh, oh, this got gold though. We got we to build here first. Oh yeah, build me a farm, boy. It's going to give me extra food. Elephants. What are they doing there? Who's this? Oh, that's France. Ah, oh, France is in this game? That's good, I guess. So we finished a worker. Huh. What are we going to build next? I think Settler. Yeah, I want two cities fast. We'll go Rapid Growth. This can wait. That can wait. I don't really need that right now. Okay, let's go Rapid Growth. Mm, we have no production here. It's kind of lousy. Kind of lousy. It's okay. It's okay. We'll make, we'll make stuff. Wait, do I got forests in Northern Greece? I got forests right here. That's good. I'll build, I'll build lumber mills there once I can. They give me extra production, meaning I can build stuff in my city faster. Yeah! Bienvenue. Je suis Napoléon. Napoléon's France. kind of a... Ki le kind le plus kind of a D-bag. Kind of a D-bag. He's just friendly right now, but he's kind of a D-bag. Also, he likes to buy horses for some reason. Don't know why. What do we got out of here? We need writing to trade borders. That makes sense. Makes sense. Ah, ah, no, 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 calm down. Okay, where are we gonna go? Ah, you're blocking me off, man. I wanna go that way. Okay, fine, we're not going that way. Let's go this way. So now we know France, Rome, and Germany are in the game. So it's gonna be tight. You're gonna be crushed in here. Four empires in a small area. Hopefully the Spanish aren't playing too. That would be obnoxious. I hate it when the Spanish play. We have no access, none, to uh, to outside the Mediterranean. They just block it off. It's obnoxious. They just like, no, oh, you have to declare war on Spain just to get out. If you ever played Civ 5 on a huge map, you know it's obnoxious if you play the Greeks. You can't not, you cannot get out. The Spanish own that area. Oh, what are we doing here, settler? Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, let's go next turn. Turn 19 already. Mm -mm. <whistles> yeah, why are they following me? That's really creepy. Whales. Oh, nice. Cows. I've always wanted cows. Next turn. Nothing to do. Jesus, man. This is Europe. You can't see it yet, but this is Europe. You'll see eventually. Let's go this way. Oh, snap. Snap, there's no one up here. Oh, looks like the Norwegians ain't playing. Normally the Norwegians are up here. They're obnoxious when they're up here. That's the German land right there. I have a feeling Germany and France are going to get into a war. They always do. Okay, we don't have masonry for another four turns. So, go over here. Make me another farm. Copenhagen. Oh, snap. We're the first one to meet Copenhagen. We got Mad Ivory. Oh, I might want to buy them. Buy them out. Whoa! Whoa! Mad Cattle. Mad Cattle, man. If there's something offshore, I might have to put a city here. Might. 
I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Athens up here because that's kind of where it is. But once Athens is there, I think we're good. Then we'll get access to the, the, all this poop. Um, that'll be nice. Oh, I really want those. Those are nice production tiles. Is this a hill? No, it's not a hill. Nope. Yeah, we're gonna put. We're definitely gonna put lumber mills right here. Once we can. Okay, next turn. Germany denounced an unmet player. Interesting. I'm wondering if those people... What are they called again? These Islamic peoples? Oh, there's nothing nothing here. That's obnoxious. I wonder if there'd be something cool there. It's obnoxious. Okay, we're good. We're good. Let's go. Next turn. Oh, three more turns until we get a policy. Culture is another thing that you get in this game. They give you um, upgrades. We'll get into that in a while. Um, but yeah, actually two turns, we'll get into that. Speed two damn turns. Napoleon! He wants me to declare war on, on Caesar this early in the game. It's really early, man. Give me ten turns. I have no soldiers, man. It's like, yeah, let's go to war! It's like, where are your soldiers? Ah, I left him at home. My bad. Go back and get them. Germany's got ivory. No trapping, though. They don't got that yet. 